Topical Route of Administration Topical medications are usually used to treat a local issue rather than a systemic problem. Drugs that are administered by this route may be a lotion, a cream, an ointment, a paste, a powder, or a spray that is applied directly to the affected area of the skin. Note, always wear gloves when handling topical medications. They are absorbed through the skin. The medication has no way of knowing that you are not intended to get part of the dose. Protect yourself. You may be allergic or have an adverse reaction to the medication the person is getting. Steps for administering topical medication. Gather all the supplies you need. Medication, MAR, the person who is receiving the medications. Wash your hands and apply a pair of clean gloves. For each person and medication, match the person and the medications to the person's name and the medication that are due on the MAR. Always use the 5 rights plus 2 each and every time you administer or supervise the self-administration of medication. Locate the site where you will be applying the medication. Clean and dry the location prior to administering. Apply a small amount of the preparation to the site. Applying too much is messy and can be uncomfortable for the person and may cause you to run out before the course of the treatment is finished. Document the administration of the medication on the MAR. Return the medication to its proper storage location. Important considerations. When applying a powder, be sure to shake it into your hand and then apply to the site. This will prevent puffs of powder from being produced that you or the person could accidentally inhale. When using topical corticosteroids, use it cautiously and sparingly on areas that are covered by a diaper or occlusive dressing. Under these conditions, systemic absorption of the medication is increased. The changes to Chapter 393.506 of the Florida Statutes went into effect on July 1, 2018. One of the changes deals with the validation process for the topical route. Validations for this route may be completed using simulation. If you are not validated for the topical route prior to July 1, 2018, you will need to be validated before administering or supervising the self-administration. Once validated, you will not need to be revalidated annually on this route. However, you must keep your primary route either oral or enteral current, or you will be required to take the six-hour training and be validated before providing medication assistance services.